Hey guys, MCU Collector here with video number seven in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series X-Men Wave 3 Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. Here is Psylocke. This is the last individual figure of the wave before we go on to the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure itself. Uh, so very awesome figure. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to having Psylocke. She is definitely going to be one of the harder to find figures of the wave. Um, and I know um, there's actually a variant out there. This is like, I guess, the regular one, you would say, where she's wearing the blue and has black hair. Um, but really awesome. I'm really glad to have her um, because, you know, she's been a very popular figure because you know, I think what the last one was in the uh, the SDCC X-Force 3 pack. Um, that figure got crazy expensive, that entire box set, of course. Um, so everyone wanted it, but here is Psylocke. Let's get right to it. Here we have the X-Men logo, Psylocke down at the bottom, X logo at the top. Side artwork looking very cool. Product image of the figure um, looking awesome. And I gotta say that the finished product does not look the same. Definitely um, a little off on the head sculpt, but let's get to it. Bio reads, Betsy Braddock adopts the identity Psylocke, combining mastery of the martial arts with enhanced abilities in telekinesis and telepathy. Very cool. Here is a look at the entire wave, the Apocalypse Builder figure. We've already looked at Wolverine, Magneto, Gladiator, Sabretooth, Storm, Multiple Man, and we are on Psylocke. So very cool. There is the UPC for everybody. Now let's open this up and take a look yes, at the Here figure. is the Psylocke figure out of the package. Um, it's a really good figure. I don't want to say it's a great figure because there's definitely some of those QC issues on the paint apps um, that I have been talking about in several of these videos. Um, this is probably the worst one out of all of them. Um, and I know some of it is going to be just mine, uh, but I know that there have been others that have, have seen issues with the paint apps um, on their figure. So um, yeah, I guess is what it is. Now this figure also came with the left leg to Apocalypse, so really cool. We've already looked at the right leg that came with Multiple Man. Um, so really awesome looking. Can't wait to build him. He will be in the next video. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at the accessories and she actually comes with quite a bit, a little bit more than I had um, kind of thought or even remembered. So first off, we have this face piece here. It just kind of slips on and just stays on there. Whoops, as I drop it, of course but you can see it just kind of clips onto her face. Um, it doesn't like snap on or anything like that. It just kind of rests in there. So you can see you just kind of slip it on there and it just sits there um, nicely. And it's a nice little um, telekinesis type of effect. So really cool. That's the first one that's done in a nice pink translucent plastic. We also get this hand piece um, where I guess, I don't know if it's supposed to look like a flame or what it is, but she manifests it with her powers. Um, and it clips onto the wrist right there, and it's done in the same translucent plastic. This is a little bit harder. Um, you could do it two ways. You can kind of open this up and then go put it around the wrist, or you could do as I did. I just pop the hand off, then then kind of set it in place and pop the hand right back in because I was as I was trying to do it, it was just kind of coming a pain trying to work that around and stuff. So I said, you know what? Let me just pop the hand off. It's a little bit easier, and it just kind of sets in there, and it's perfectly fit for the fist. Um, there so really cool and then you could just easily take it off. It's just putting it on which uh, You know you gotta you gotta work around it because it wants to bend that part in um, And then she also comes with a pink translucent sword with that same flame effect now This is actually the same sword um, That I, that came with typhoid Mary the same sword and same flame effect It's just different paint apps So it's all done in the same pink translucent color um, and I think there was a one of the one of my subscribers um, actually pointed out that this is not the same katana that comes with Deadpool and Blade. I haven't had a chance to take a quick look at it. At, quick, at first glance, I thought it was. Maybe it's different. The handle does look the same to me, uh, but it looks like it could be a new sword. Um, it might be a little bit longer. I'm not sure, but these two are the same. So Typhoid Marys and Psylocke, same sword pieces, just the different, uh, different plastic. And then again, just like on the Typhoid Mary, this flame effect is removable, and you can slip it right back in there like so pretty cool nice little touch now looking at the figure we'll talk about some of the QC paint issues and now some of this again is going to be just for my figure um, but if you have the opportunity to see multiples in a store and you're only getting one really take a look at the paint apps um, for me unfortunately it's just the only one that was there um, so I you know I had to pick it up but you could see right there the skin tone 
is definitely com um, not done too well because it's got, the, the, this torso piece is done with the blue plastic and then the skin tone is painted over that so you can see some of the blue coming through over there um, we get the fuzzy line work all throughout the figure so it is not they are not clean blue lines so the paint came out very splotchy there's a little extra paint splotch there I'm not sure what that is um, and then again it's just real fuzzy lines throughout the figure um, the same on the legs this blue wrap around it's very fuzzy it's not clean at all as you can see and that goes for both sides now this left leg is a little bit better it's the right leg that didn't come out too well and then same here on these tights um, or boots or whatever I guess it would be same thing not they're just not not a clean line not a clean line um, and then up here because this top torso piece is also done in a blue plastic so you can see the skin tone right there blue is coming through there as well um, so it's just kind of disappointing that you know that would happen here on the blue you can see when they tried to line up the blue on that arm for those wristbands they just kind of missed the mark I got a little paint paint there um, so it's just kind of it's just kind of disappointing that it would be so evident in an entire wave of some of the QC paint issues. Um, so it's pretty disappointing on one of the most anticipated waves of the year. I, and I don't know, know the number off the top of my head, but it, what is it, like eight or nine waves this year? I mean, we've had Venom, uh, two Spider-Man waves. This is the X-Men wave, Deadpool wave. There's another Deadpool wave coming. That's six. Black Panthers technically this year. Two Avengers waves. That's nine nine waves um and that this being one of the most highly anticipated ones um would have so many qc paint issues but uh is it is what it is so hopefully if you guys get the chance to check out multiple psylocks uh really go for and look closely at some of those paint apps because some are definitely going to be better than others and then keep an eye out for um a variant i am looking for the variant it has purple hair and there's much more metallic purpley uh costume to her Hopefully, um, I can find one out in the wild somewhere. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I can find one. Um, yeah. There she is. Typical female body as well. The thin legs. Hard for her to stand. You really have to get those ankles um, going in the right position to hold her up. But we'll look at the articulation. Arms go slightly up. Full rotation. Swivel and hinge at the elbow. Again, single jointed elbow. But you get very good um bend at the elbow compared to some of the other female figures so it's actually more than 90 degrees so that's good uh wrists hinge and they swivel left hand is a fist right hand is an open hand so she can hold that sword uh the diaphragm joint will pivot to the side a little bit pivot that side a little bit won't really crunch forward crunch back a little bit she can look all the way down. She's not going to look up because that black hair is going to get in the way. There's no additional paint in the hair. You do get some neck pivot there, so it's a little wobbly on the head, but it's not anything that's going to wobble on its own. You could just kind of do that. Uh, legs go out far apart. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, so you get full bend at the knee, which is good. Hinge goes all the way up, all the way down, and you do get ankle pivot. Uh, so there it is. So good figure, again, it's a highly anticipated one. Everyone wants a Psylocke figure. Um, it's a little disappointing, again, with some of the QC issues on, on a figure that, you know, everyone's really been looking forward to getting. Um, and then one other thing that I wanted to point out when I had talked about the promo image of the figure, if you look at this head sculpt, um, you can really see the Asian coming through. And on the figure, it's there, you can see it, but it's definitely a big difference between the promo image, um, the prototype figure, and the final product. And you can see... Um, quite a big difference now I don't I, I I still like this head sculpt don't get me wrong but you could see that it's definitely did not come out um, quite the same as the original prototype figure there but still looks good I still do like it you can see that I'm trying to you can see it just wobbles a little bit and just kind of wants to go back in place but I'm still very happy to have the Psylocke figure um, so, so don't get me wrong there um, and I know that everyone's really going to be wanting to pick her up but there it is. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Stay tuned. Next video is Apocalypse. We're going to go right into it. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.